bitch. Back with the third video. The third. Third time's a charm. 100K? A million? Fuck. It probably ain't gonna happen, but, uh... Yeah, we back with this third video. And I want to try something new because I don't see a lot of uniqueness in this community and just overall in life. So, yeah. This is episode one of Soul Food. Giving people food for the soul. And... I'm going to see how far this shit can go. I'm going to take it as far as I can. I will get equipment one day. It'll be better. I don't know when. But yeah, this episode one. I'm about to give some people some tips about trusting the process. Because I know a lot of y'all don't trust y'all process. And a lot of y'all say y'all do. But I know y'all be lying sometimes. And it's okay. You don't want to admit the truth. It's fine, I guess. But I know a lot of y'all need this video and... Gonna dive into some stuff, some interesting topics about trusting your process. So let's get into this shit, bitch. <laughs> I ain't playing. The number one rule in trusting your process believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. How are you going to trust your process if you don't believe in yourself? But I be telling people, believe in yourself or nobody will. And that's just a fact. You need to believe in yourself or nobody will. And what do I mean by that? Let's dig deeper. You got to live for yourself. This is your life. Whatever you want to do when you die, that's your choice. And a lot of y'all care about other people's opinions. A lot of y'all. Y'all care about other people's opinions and it's holding you back. But you need to believe in yourself. Because that's like the first thing before anything and trust in anything you do. You have to believe in yourself. Another thing I mean by believing in yourself. Don't live for other people. Don't make decisions thinking about other people you know what i mean like you got to make decisions of your own so you can impact your own life don't be trying to be cool and shit because i know a lot of people be always trying to be cool and shit trying to fit in and all that that gets you nowhere dude that gets you nowhere but behind and the thing is if you live for other people i promise you you will become a would have could have should have and what a would have could have should have is someone who lives in regret if you live for other people, I promise you, you will live in regret. It's just made to happen. It's made to happen. Another way you could believe in yourself. Don't invest your time into celebrities more than your own life. Because I see lots of y'all. Y'all just praise. Dick sucking. Cock gobbling. Come, guzzlers. Dick riding these celebrities. When y'all don't even... They are human. Oh, we ain't know that. Why y'all see my dress go longer? But, uh... They literally are human beings. Don't invest your time into celebrities more than your own life because... All you're going to do is just dig yourself in a deeper hole. Oh, why can't I live like them, man? They look so happy. Damn, man, they look so happy, bro. All that money, all them followers. That shit don't mean nothing at the end of the day. It don't. You really can't. Like, when you die, nobody's going to care about, damn, bro. He the first nigga to have 100 followers. Damn, bro. He really, damn, he really got that Lambo. That shit don't matter when you die. It just depends on what you did in life. That's what that's what matters at the end of the day. But nobody be thinking like that. Y'all gotta think. <laughs> Y'all gotta think, man. And it's like I just don't get how people could believe in these celebrities so much, but can't trust their self. 
Y'all support these celebrities more than y'all support y'all friends. You should be ashamed of yourself. Give me your phone. Give me it. Give me your phone. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Give me your phone. Fucking, fucking phone. Fucking. But yeah, that's that part. Slow improvement is still improvement. Because a lot of y'all, and I keep saying that, but it's just true. The majority human beings, every single time, every single time we fail, we think that shit is over with. But do, do y'all not realize that the most successful people on earth took losses and L's? Like, and why do you think they're successful? Because they don't look at these losses as the end of the world. Lots of y'all lose, y'all fail, and y'all are done. I'm done for the day. That shit is over with. But you got to trust your process. Believe in yourself. And I know I sound like a motivational speaker, but I'll get to that. Trust your process. Believe in yourself. Try again. Learn from the loss. You can't, I can't draw, draw a picture of Elmo, and then I fail one time and I'm just done for the day. I'm going to learn how to get better. That's a bad example. But, uh, like, come on, man. Y'all just be giving up so easily over something so little. But it's all good. It's all good. Slow improvement is still improvement. I don't care what nobody say. You hit push-ups, 20 of them bitches today. And tomorrow, you hit 21. I don't give a fuck. That's still improvement. You could do 20.5, 20, 20 half a push-up. It's still improvement. Slow improvement is still improvement. Do we got that? Wait, what? Oh, you say yeah? Okay. And the last thing for this little portion of believing in yourself. You have to realize and come to realization that everybody doesn't want to see you win. And that's just a fact. It's a sad truth. Everybody doesn't want to see you win. They don't. Most people do. It's going to be that rare, 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 rare portion that actually wants to see you win. Because most people do. You think. But some people do to an extent. Like me, for example. There's people that follow me. Right? There's people that follow me. There's people that follow me that like my pictures. There's people that follow me that like, comment, share my pictures. Then there's people who don't do it at all. Shit. There's people who follow, but just look at the page, don't like shit, don't comment shit, don't support shit. Then there's the full-on supporter, the, the liker, the sharer, the commenter, the the send it to their mama, send it to their daddy, auntie. Like, some people want to see you win to an extent. Like, let's say I drop a song, right? And it go platinum or something, right? And my homie, he 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 makes music and his shit is not really popping as well. A hating ass nigga would be the one to, like, not support your shit because you're getting bigger than him. Couldn't be me. But some people really do not want to see you win. You just have to understand that. It could be your friend, your mama, it don't matter. People do not want to see you win. And when you notice that, you just, you get better mentally. You don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck who believes in me. I don't give a fuck who doesn't. Because I believe in myself. That's what matters at the end of the day. Like, it's just facts. Everybody don't want to see a young nigga win. And that's what makes it better when you do succeed. It makes it even better. Stop looking at me like that. Can you stop staring? Shit. Damn. Oh, 
always staring at shit. I'm always staring at a nigga like, you want something? Like, shit. Fuck out of here. The second half. Second portion. Second part of trusting your process. Is. Matching your value with the work ethic. Because I know. We all want a Lamborghini. We all want a mansion with 24 bedrooms. And 36 bathrooms. In 56 backyards. In 103 basketball courts. But we don't want to work for it. But you have to. You have to match your work ethic with what you value. Because I know a lot of y'all. Y'all think these millionaires and all this shit that they got. Y'all think this shit is easy. It takes a lot of time, hard work, dedication, a lot of willpower. It takes a lot to be successful. And it takes a lot to trust your process. And I say this all the time. This shit isn't for everybody. I'm looking at you right now. This might not even be for you. And I'm sorry. This isn't for everybody. Because a lot of people don't have that perseverance. A lot of y'all don't believe in yourself. And I feel bad for y'all because it's just like... If you don't believe in yourself, like, what is you, what are you here for? Oh, we getting a little deep. <laughs> but for real, like, like, what are you here for? What are you here for if you don't believe in yourself? What are you here for? What impact are you going to leave if you believe in celebrities and your friends more than you do yourself? And I'm not saying be selfish. Never be selfish. Never be cocky. But don't confuse confidence with arrogance. There are two different things. You got to be confident in yourself or you will get nowhere. You will become a woulda, coulda, shoulda. And that's the sad truth. But back to what I was saying. All those big things you want, all them mansions and all that shit. All the, the skyscrapers, whatever you want. You have to match it. It has to match. Sleepless nights, perseverance. It's a lot that goes into trusting your process. And trusting your process could be with anything. A business, you losing weight, a girl you want, a relationship you trying to fix. Yo, oh, I was not going to say that. I'm not going <laughs> to say that. But yes, yeah, it's, it's literally with anything. Trusting my process could be, I'm not going to say that either. Wow. Trusting your process can mean anything. It can mean a relationship, a brotherhood, music, gymnastics, art, a business, losing weight. It can be anything. You have to trust your process. Because it is going to be times where you fail. And people don't realize that, like, you're not going to be good at something... And just flat out good at something. And people never want to explore. You got to explore in different things. Find what the hell you good at. And there is no I'm good at nothing. There is no I'm good at nothing. There is no I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not good at nothing. That shit doesn't exist. You are good at some shit. You just not looking. You just ain't trying. And that's the sad truth. And another thing I want to address. A lot of y'all. A lot. A lot. A lot of y'all need to realize we are young. I got a lot of young niggas on my account. A handful. And I'm a young nigga too. I'm 17 years old, dude. We are young. The average lifespan, what is it? 70? 75? What's half 75? Shit, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. That, fuck. Thirty seven point five. Thirty seven point five. Even when you're 30, you're still a kid. You haven't been halfway through life. We are not supposed to figure this out. We aren't. School doesn't teach us nada. Nathan, nothing. Y'all know this. I don't remember damn thing from school. You see, you know, I couldn't even figure out what 
Half of 75 was. School ain't teach us nothing. We are young. Young as hell. Too young to be stressing. Too young to not be believing in ourselves. Too young to be non-confident. Because I know the world is a fucked up place out here. But you have to realize that we have time. And a lot of people don't appreciate time. That shit that you can't take back. And if you spend all your time living, half of your life living, the whole thing of your life living, a full life of you living and breathing, and you never believed yourself, you didn't accomplish nothing, you just gave up, you ultimately lose. You will lose in the end. And if that hurts you, if you felt that, you probably need to do better. I don't mean to be harsh in this video, but I'm just keeping it real. On to the next one. <laughs> the last. And the last part of trusting your process is. Don't be afraid to take a risk. What do I mean by that? Don't be afraid to be different. Me, for example. I've been different my whole goddamn life. Yeah. And I'm perfectly fine with it. Because what's wrong with being unique? Why would I want to be the same? Why would I want to be like everybody else? Eh? Can you tell me that? Don't be trying to fit in. How do I say this? Don't be afraid to break generational curses. And by that I mean, if you know, if you know you with the shits, if you know you are good at something, and, you, and you're trying to master it or, if you, or you mastered it already, don't be afraid to take risk. Don't be afraid to spend your last dollar on whatever you want to pursue that dream because if you believe in yourself, I don't know if y'all believe in manifestations, but if you manifest some shit and you really put in work for that shit, it will come back to you. But most of y'all don't believe that because basics. We were taught not to believe that. They teach us not to believe ourselves. They teach us in school to follow the go to school, college, start a family, then die. And a lot of us need to break that generational curse. If you don't want to go to college, if you know you better than college, don't fucking go. You got to take risk. Even if it's if your parents said, I'm sorry, I don't want to like, I'm not trying to like, uh, until you drop out of college or anything. But I'm just saying, if you feel like you don't need to go to college, bro, sis, mama, papa, don't go. Because you're just going to drown yourself. Drown yourself in the ocean of sorrows. You are going to drown yourself in a hole that you didn't even want to be in. Because you wanted to Oh, my mom said it would be good for me. I'm sorry, but fuck your mama. Okay, not fuck your mama. I love your mama. I love your mama. Tell her I said I love her. But uh, you just can't. You can't do that. <laughs> you just can't. You got to live for yourself. And it's okay. It's okay to focus on your craft. It's okay. You just got to think long term. That's the main thing about trusting your processes. Think long term. Because a lot of people live in the moment. Oh, I ain't get I ain't get it right now, so that means it's just over with. I fail right now, so that means it's just over with when that's far from true. You think Malcolm X just gave up after one speech when five people showed up? Come on now. Come on now. We got to do better. Because we just need to do better. 
It's not a lot of risk takers. And you know what risk takers are? Leaders. Be a leader. You don't got to lead people, but be a leader for yourself. Lead yourself in the right direction. Believe in what you do. Huh? Is it that hard? No homo? I say no homo with everything. And the last thing. The last thing before I head out. Realize. Sometimes it isn't your time. Because it's going to be a lot of hating ass niggas. And you might even hating on, you might be even hating on somebody. But you got to realize it's not always going to be your time. It's not. It's just not. It's not going to always be your time. You're not going to get the Grammy every year. You're not going to get the award every year. But if you focus on your craft and know your shit is good, believe in your shit and what you do, nobody else's opinion will ever matter. And I mean that in life. I appreciate the support all the time. I appreciate the hell out of it. But it's really what you do at the end of the day that matters for real. When you go to sleep, like, damn, I really just did some good shit. Like, damn, I really just did this shit. Once you have that feeling and don't give a fuck about what nobody thinks about you, you win. You won already. Like, for real. You won. And I congratulate you. Give me a hug. Oh, you want to be all rude and shit? Okay. Whatever. Nobody loves me anyway. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's episode one of uh, Soul Food. That sounds a little weird right now because it's the first episode, but I'm going to be back again. I don't know when. I'm going to really need y'all uh, to request me some uh, video ideas because, I mean, I have my own. But, like, really this is about, like, like I said, giving people food for the soul. So I need y'all to tell me what food y'all need for y'all soul so I can talk about it, you know? And one thing I need to address, I need to get this out of the way. And if you're listening right now, I need you to listen clearly. Listen, listen, okay? Roll it. I see a lot of people, and I mean so many people. It's so many people. And it's like basically the people around me, y'all keep calling me a motivational speaker and a... Uh, I mean, I have no problem with it, but I'm not no motivational speaker, my dude. This isn't no... I'm not I'm not an activist. I said this before. I'm not an activist. I'm not no MLK. I'm not, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not a preacher. I'm not none of that. I don't just say all this positive shit for the fuck of it. I don't just spill shit out of my mouth and just say shit. I don't just say this shit. I've been through the shit that I talk about. If I'm talking about depression... Nigga, you better know damn well I've been through depression. If I talk about family members dying and losing people, you better know damn well that I've been through the shit. I don't just put this out for no reason. I put this out, trust the process. I put this out because I was a person who didn't trust in my process. And I know you're probably asking me, do you trust your process? If I didn't trust my process, I don't think I'd be making this video. So, uh, yeah, I believe in myself. Oh, that's a bad question you'd ask. Why would you ask me that? Huh? Why'd you ask me that? Yeah, I trust my process. Why wouldn't I? Mindset of a leader. And like I said, trusting your process isn't for everybody. But, like I was saying, I'm not no motivational speaker. This isn't just... This isn't a phase. This isn't something I just do for the fuck of it. Like, I do this with very good, very bold intentions. Like, I do this to... This video could potentially save somebody's life. And I'm fine with that. Because I was the same person you was in need of saving. And I didn't have nobody to save me. And if I save you, if I don't, if you ain't getting nothing from this video, then... Damn, that would hurt. But I mean, yeah, like I'm not I'm not no motivational speaker, man. 
uh, I don't like that title that people are giving me. I'm literally just being myself. Like, this isn't a, this isn't a, fa a facade. This isn't a, a damn, this isn't acting. It's really like, this is me. This is me. On camera, off camera, this is me. I don't get why people keep calling me that. So yeah, that was episode one. I hope y'all can give me some uh, some request. Like, please give me a request because I need more stuff to talk about because I want to know where y'all head is at. You know, I think episode two, not even I think, episode two is going to be why relationships don't last in today's age. So get ready. I'm going to put them all in, into that too. And I'll be giving this out for free. So I don't get why uh, people be just watching me and like, I mean, yeah, you could, you could subscribe, but it's like, hey, you should subscribe if you haven't already, because it doesn't even make sense why you wouldn't. I don't get why people be watching your stuff, but they don't subscribe or they don't like. Like, it's hot as fuck in this car. I'm sacrificing my life for free. Giving people free game for free. If you watch this, thank you for your time. I know this ain't gonna be as long as the other video because, man, that was a pretty long video with a lot of things I touched on. And I touched on everything I wanted to do. I touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Whoa. In this video. So, yeah. I'll see y'all boys and girls, men, women, in the next video, so I'm out.